Welcome back to the channel guys. So your hot tub is not heating up. Right, before we get started guys, don't forget head over to my website lazyrepair.co.uk and grab yourself a puncture repair kit to help the channel out. These are the best puncture repair kits on the market and you get access to myself if you need it. You won't need it, I guarantee it, because these are very easy to use. Full instructions come with a kit and uh, you get up to £20 off a of service for your hot tub as well. So go over to the website, grab yourself a kit and uh, let's dive into this why your hot tub is not heating. So first you want to ask just yourself what have you done beforehand? Is there anything you've done that could have caused this? So if, it's, if you've just got the hot tub out of storage, if you have then uh, what you want to do is just check if your impeller is not seized because if the hot tub has been in storage and you filled out for the first time the impeller may be seized and um, there may be some fluff and bits of debris blocks around the filtration pump. All right, so what you want to do is pop it up. Let's leave it to soak. You, you, you would have filled up the hot tub by now. Just let that sit for a day or so and let, let everything soak and then retry the imp to start the impeller up again. But um, if you've been running the hot tub and... Um, Another thing to check also before I forget is have you filled the hot tub with hot water? If you filled the hot tub with hot water and the hot water has been too hot above 40 degrees, which some boilers are set at, some people have their hot water at crazy temperatures, then this what this would do is, is, is it would activate the thermal cup switch as a safety precaution. So the hot water would, would basically the thermal cup switch is a closed circuit which allows power to go to your heating element when this becomes too hot it's a mechanical switch so what it does it, it cut it opens the circuit as a safety precaution because it's saying that well, this is getting too hot so we need to cut everything down shut everything down uh, and that's what your thermal cut switch is so that will, that will open the circuit and it will cut power to the heating element so that's what that's why you find a lot but especially with the lazy spars that they won't go past 29 say so. For you know, because it's the, it's a safety precaution, and that thermal cut switch is a manual reset, which is the button on the side of your unit, which needs activating. Uh, so what you need to do is activate that switch, then power everything down, power everything up again, clear everything down, um, and then try again. Now, if you remove your filter while it's heating, it will speed things up. Because you got a rain blade, the the the, filter, the system's trying to pull water through the filter to heat which the, the water does slow down that process so to take the filter off it takes about an hour roughly a degree an hour to rise up with all the lid on um, just give it an hour and to see if it starts to rise after after that thermal switch has been reset now other things you need to check is your water flow so there's no water flow being restricted so like I say take the filter off for now until you until you until you rectify the um, problem um, obviously put your filter back on, a clean filter back on once you've rectified the issue. But you want to be looking at your um, any pipes have been crushed, so, so that could be restricting the water flow. Check your seals and under your couplings, check all your seals are present because a seal may have degraded and gone into the system, which could cause a blockage. Okay, And you want to be checking your strainers. Now your strainers are your two holes in on the on the, the ball side of your line now one's an inlet one's an outlet one is one you attach your filter to and then most models you have you attach your spar light to this is your inlet and outlet and the strainers there are to stop any dip, large items going into the system now these strainers sometimes collect debris fluff and hair then you need to check that these are nice and clear as well all right and then the, your pipes leading from them strainers to your to your heater and pump make sure them pipes have not been kinked or crust in any way. Um, you also need to backwash your, you take your pump off and give it a good bash backwash with your hose pipe inlet and outlet, and just watch for anything coming out. Some, I mean, if you've been, if you've had any birthdays and you've used confetti, say for the children, a lot of people do this, and the confetti will get backed up in the um, filtration pump. If you use towels in the hot tub, swimwear, which, which is fluffy swimwear, you got to remember all that fluff's going to get collected into the filtration pump, which will slow things down. So you need a good backwash. All right, guys. So that's about as far as you can go with regards to your heating, uh, not heating. If you find any elements of like any little calcium crystals that are coming out of the pump, 
then that, that's an, an indication that there's a calcium build up in the system, which means it would need a full service. All right, so you can get a full service through me, laserrepair.co.uk. Um, services from £59, nationwide service that is. Um, link below. And uh, if, if it, these tips have helped you or you can think of any more, drop a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.